y'all so today we're doing a day in the life of an optician started out the video with a little product placement and an outfit check no get ready with me today because i did upload a reel on instagram if you would like to check that out that's a little bit more of a get ready with me but today you're just coming in to work with me it's a wednesday so it is casual wear we don't have an optometrist on wednesdays it's a nice little catch-up day it is the best day to record because there are very few patients coming in most people are just coming in to pick up some glasses couldn't really show you guys that also because of HIPAA and you know just wanting to maintain patient confidentiality but I'm just giving you guys a little tour of our optical some glasses that we have for sale and our optician area which is where we check in the glasses and do repairs and whatnot so here I got right to work checking the prescriptions on these glasses making sure that the axis sphere sill is correct that it is the correct frame and the correct kind of lenses have been put into them just a day in the life of an optician on busier days or days that we do have an optometrist we're usually doing frame selects for patients as well as calling the lab to check up on orders, calling patients to let them know that their glasses are ready, frame repairs, adjustments, helping out other people on the team with whatever they need help with, as well as whatever you see me doing today. Okay, so these ones are all good to go. And next, I wanted to show you guys our little UV light to test out transitions. As you can see, just turn on the light, put them in, and they start to get a little darker just to make sure they work because we have had some funny stories <laughs> regarding that. And then I got started on this progressive sunglasses pair and I wanted to show you guys the little work paper. I don't actually know what it's called, but it just shows where the progressive dots should be and where we should look through to ensure that the progressive prescription is correct. Our practice actually started as an ophthalmology optometry practice, but our ophthalmologist has retired and is selling the practice to the optometrist. And while we've sent out email notifications, we're also doing snail mail letters to each patient that we have on file. So here's just me folding the letters, putting them in the envelopes and sending them out. We've been doing these for quite a while, but at the time that this video is going up, they have all been sent and everything is starting to be a little bit more official. Here I am tagging the frames from today's shipment and getting them ready to be put onto the floor. It's pretty much the most time consuming part of Wednesdays, I would say. We do this generally throughout the week, but Wednesdays we kind of do the most of them because there's so much time to do so. Finally, to wrap things up, I have some interviews with my coworkers where they kind of talk about what they do. And hopefully that helps you guys get some insight about some of the positions that are available at private practices such as ours and what you can get into if okay, you're interested. Hey everyone, so this is my wonderful coworker. <laughs> what is your name and what do you do? <laughs> it's Maria Salini and I help verify and authorize insurances for patients that need their eye exam. So what's your favorite part of this job? Um, so I do like verifying that. But the insurances and authorizing them, basically helping them get prepared for the exam and also calling patients that their contact lenses are here. So I also do that. What's your least favorite part of your job? Um, sometimes it's hard when some patients do get frustrated when we do want their order and I just know that we just have to be patient and have empathy towards them. So yeah, I just want them to have their contacts and I understand how frustrating it can be if it's not. Here in time. <laughs> and any advice for ODs or OD students based on your experiences? So, my experiences just keep working hard and. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so welcome guys. This is one of my coworkers. So, what is your first name and what do you do? I am Daisy and I'm the ophthalmic technician, so back office. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. And what is your favorite part of your job? Um, I have to say the favorite part of my job is interacting with the patients. I love talking to people. So going back there, you know, interacting with patients, especially when they've been longtime patients of mine, mm -hmm. I love that because it's just, it's fun, it's different, it's just, it's nice. You almost feel like you build a bond with these people. So mm -hmm. it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's like catching favorite. up with a friend back there. Exactly. Exactly. So that's really nice. And mm -hmm. it kind of takes away the monotony of just just being at you know your eye appointment you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. yeah i love that okay and what is your least favorite part of your job 
the monotony of it. It can get a little repetitive. It can be a kind of scripted. Um, so that would probably be the only thing maybe I don't that I just dislike a little bit. Um, okay. Just because I find myself kind of saying the same things over and over again. You know, it kind of seems a little autonomous at times when I'm yeah. speaking to patients. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps so that's the only part of my job that I kind of just dislike just slightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what made you interested in vision? Um, it started as just a regular office job and then I kind of moved or promoted into back office. Mm -hmm. um, so initially it was just a job, but I've stayed here for so long. I've been here now just over 10 years going on 11. Mm -hmm. I've been here for so long because it's interesting. It's vision. It's your eyes and everything that's going on in there. So I think yeah. that's super, that's super cool. So, Especially yeah. from your position where you get to see it. In. Yeah, I can't yeah. get to see it. It's not just all the routine stuff. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, the eye problems or the diseases and the treatments and everything else that goes along with it, I think is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And then do you have any advice for ODs or OD students? Like they're just based on your experience. Hmm. Communication is key communicate with your patients mm -hmm. um, and just having good staff. Having good staff, whether it's front office, optical, back office, it'll make you run like a well-oiled machine if you have good staff. Absolutely, yeah. that's yeah. invaluable. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your Okay guys, and with another one of my co-workers. So what is your first name and what do you do? I'm Michelle and I'm the assistant manager here. Awesome, that sounds fun. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite part of your job? Uh, probably some of the patient interaction that's been fun over the years to learn about people and stuff like that. Like getting to know them. And then what's your least favorite part? Um, probably the patient. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know that there's a least favorite. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like any job. You have moments where it's great and moments where it's not. So, you know, okay. kind of day by day kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's fair, that's fair. So what made you interested in vision and eye care? It was pretty random. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really a necessarily an interest. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started at Lens Crafters oh, and okay. I found this job here just kind of by chance and I've just stayed with it. It's just been something I've really enjoyed. Okay. And then any advice for ODs or OD students just based on your experience? I think my, my biggest suggestion would be to surround yourself with a great team. Um, don't try to do everything yourself. Educate your, your staff, your team, make them part of the process. Mm -hmm. It goes a long way and then if you're just trying to do it all on your own. It also gives them ownership, especially if you're going to own your own practice. Make them a part of it. Let Teach them how to, to do the referrals. Teach them how to do different things so that they can take ownership in the process and feel like they're part of it as well. Yeah. Okay, that is that's a really good <laughs> Thank you for Oh, you're welcome. Time. You're welcome. So, what's your name and what do you do? Okay, my name's Lydia, and I manage an eye doctor's office, particularly an ophthalmologist's office that also has optometry services. Awesome. And what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is the patients. I love patients. I love remembering them as they come in year after year. I love um, learning about their families, seeing them grow. And of course, solving their vision needs, you know, being able to help them with glasses, contacts, things like that. Awesome, yes, and that's yeah. super fun. <laughs> and what is your least favorite part? Ah, uh, least favorite part. I guess that would be the, um, I guess that would be the unhappy patient. That would be the person who unfortunately weren't able to fully satisfy. Yeah. Um, rarely happens, but I guess, yeah. It would, might be that, it might just be something, um, maybe a, a good patient that you know and you care about and maybe they had a unfortunate diagnosis. I guess that's the, the down part to the job. Yeah. What made you interested in the vision industry? Getting contacts when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> um, going to an eye doctor's office, getting contact lenses, learning about what the eye exam is like. Um, I think that just really, you know, made me feel like it would be something that I would like to do. And then I started working for my first eye doctor when I was a senior in high school. It was a part-time job, mm -hmm. and that opened up those doors. Mm -hmm. That sounds like you've been, you've been into optometry <laughs> longer than I even knew that it was like a career possibility. Um, any yeah. advice for ODs or OD students? Yeah, I would just say just network. Mm -hmm. Go to as many free seminars as you can go to. Um, LASIK 
companies will have seminars. There will be glaucoma drug medications that have seminars. There will be um, continued education. And so you're meeting with other doctors, you're learning what they do, you're learning how their practice runs, and you're taking tidbits from each other, and you're helping build either the practice that you're gonna be at or your patient care. So you're either gonna just become a stronger doctor by sharing advice. So that's what I would recommend. Awesome. Thank you so much for Thank your time. You. That was great advice, actually.